what is going on today guys so today i want to talk about the new call of duty that's coming out and if you should buy it that would be call of duty modern warfare 3. now before you buy call of duty modern warfare 3 i just want to warn you of what had happened to call of duty modern warfare 2 and know that that could potentially happen with call of duty modern warfare 3. so for the people that don't know when call of duty modern warfare 2 first released it was terrible it was extreme. It was crashing like crazy. It was extremely buggy. There was a lot of glitches and game breaking bugs. It was extremely hard to be able to get into a lobby to play with your friends. Like it was a broken game. And given Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was the biggest Call of Duty of all time. It had the most sales out of any other Call of Duty ever. There was a lot weighing on this game. And honestly, for a game of its size, it should have been done right it should have been sold actually working and not broken like it was but unfortunately it was broken the game it was just a mess it was just there was there was so much that was wrong with the game um it was it was kind of sad really like i think it was one of the most broken launches i've ever um and for a game of its size and for the amount of people that bought the game and pre-ordered the game and wanted to play the game, it shouldn't have launched like that. Even if even if the game wasn't massive, it still shouldn't have launched like that. For a triple A game studio that's worth billions and billions of dollars, the game should have launched in a way, way better state. And you'd think with how much pressure was riding on on um Activision on the developers and what's not for how big the game was that they would actually get it done right but they didn't and not to mention it took them forever to fix the game like you'd think they would get it done they, you'd think they'd fix the game pretty quickly right like you'd think that they would get it done within you know first few days get a patch out to fix everything but no it took them months to fix everything months like to get everything completely fixed all the the glitches the bugs the crashing the everything it took them months to get that all fixed which is sad to say for such a large studio and you know such a big gaming studio that should not be the case whatsoever but that's what happens and that could potentially happen again really time and time again Activision has shown that they really don't care about us. We don't care about the community. They don't care about the people. They don't care about what we want. And, and they really just care about money and they just want their game to make more and more money. They could release a completely shit broken game and know that they will still make a lot of money off of it just because of the hype that surrounds cod every single year everyone always gets into the cod hype you know everyone's like oh this is going to be the year this is going to be a year where it's going to be good and you know everything's going to be great it's going to be the best call of duty ever and everyone's going to love it and play it and then the game releases and it's absolutely shit um it's been like that for the last few years to where things just have not been it just hasn't been releasing good at all um now given it maybe that doesn't happen maybe they actually learn from their mistakes and the game is actually released in a good state there's no there's no lag there's no you know game breaking bugs there's no crazy lag there's no game crashes there's no any of that and maybe the game releases in an actual good state i could be completely wrong but i just want to warn you of what happened with this game before you buy mw3 because you could be dropping 70 dollars or even a hundred dollars for a game that is completely broken and it could potentially take months for them to fix how broken the game is um so just know that your money could be well spent somewhere else you know instead of on call of duty now given i'm 
I'm not, I don't want to hate against this game. I love Call of Duty. I've played Call of Duty for years. I bought every Call of Duty that has come out and I put a lot of time into this game. Um, I've been a COD fan for a very, very long time and I want to see this game do good. I want to see it. I want to see it perform well. I want to see it have good reviews. I want to see it be a good game. You know, I want to see it actually come out a, a completed game and be fun to play again. Um, and so far, MW3 is looking good. I'm not going to lie. It is looking really good. They're making a lot of promises that the game will be fixed and that they're, they're actually adding stuff that the community likes. Um, I know that the advanced movement is coming back, which is great in my opinion. Um, they're adding Ninja as a perk again, I heard. They have the all the original MW2 maps completely remastered, um, being released into the, into the game at launch. And there's already plans for, for post-launch content. So it's, it's looking good as of right now. But again, on every year it looks good. Every year they make all of these promises and they end up being broken promises and they end up not pulling through on on what they on what they say that they're going to put into the game on what they say the game is going to be it usually ends up not going the way they say you know maybe there's there's stuff that they said they were going to add that actually didn't get added or or they say it's going to get added but um then something went wrong or whatever the case might be or this is getting delayed um by x amount of time or you know it's it's always something with call of duty they never have an actual good launch so just keep that in mind before buying mw3 is this could be a huge mess and judging from how mw2 came out i i wouldn't be surprised if the game released completely broken and buggy um but hey who knows it, it could release good. I mean, I, I have high hopes for the game and I really hope that the game is good because I would love to play the game and invest a good amount of time into it and make some content on it. Um, I'd love to get back into making Call of Duty content. And if, and if the game actually is good and, you know, I, I enjoy playing it, then I definitely will make some more Call of Duty content. But uh, yeah, that's going to be into my rant, guys. That's kind of all I wanted to talk about today. If you guys did enjoy the video, then please give the video a like. And if you guys want more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, bye, guys. Have a good one.